Hi there traders and investors, today's Tuesday, June 11. I'm glad to greet you online and share regular market review prepared for InstaForex. Tuesday. Today the economic calendar is empty. Wednesday will be an eventful day with plenty of important news for the US dollar, including the US inflation report. Now let's discuss what instruments we can trade today. Gold has got stuck at low since a nosedive it took following the US non-farm payrolls release on Friday. The price plunged by an incredible 8,500 pips from the levels after the NFPs until the bottom of the sharp fall. I reckon the downward move is not over yet. Gold may swing high, that could be tested tonight. The euro dollar pair is trading firmly lower. This down move is no surprise. The price encountered a swing high formed in the Asian session yesterday. Those who trade the swing strategy have already gained some profits. You may wonder when the euro dollar pair will stall its steep fall. It may slide indefinitely. I warned you against entering the market at swing lows. If you want to buy the instrument, you should wait for recent swing lows. For example, here is a fresh swing low. Wait for a bullish impulse and open long positions at a downward retracement. I'm especially interested now in the pound dollar pair. The instrument has left several targets downward. The price touched them a few times. I want to see a strong breakout. The instrument also left a double bottom in mid-May. Perhaps it will also be broken. Today, a swing high has been just tested. Those who managed to go short have already earned some money. A stop loss should have been placed 60 pips up. I hope to see a clear card bearish wave. Another option is to took for higher swing highs. The Australian dollar has also been trapped at lows. I'm showing you my ambitious bullish trading idea on a large time frame. I predict a lower fall as the euro and the pound sterling are expected to lose ground more. I anticipate some reversal patterns tomorrow. I aim to go long on the Australian dollar at current lows. I foresee the greenback's weakness in the medium term. Still, before it weakness, the US dollar will tighten its grip in the short term. The USDCAD pair is trading at its highs. The instrument is following the trajectory of the US dollar index. I found a lot of nice downward targets. The price will move a bit higher and then reverse downward aiming to hit bearish targets. It's too early to plan short positions yet. Still, I pay your attention to the stop losses placed by the buyers. The dollar yen pair is trading in response to the pain bar formed last week. I reckon the instrument will easily update the lows of last week and the previous week. I urge you not to sell the pair now, neglecting the strong patterns of the last week. The risk is too high. I advise you to wait for a breakout. The main event for the yen is the Bank of Japan's policy decision due on Friday. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Good luck and see you later.